So I just looked up a tutorial on how to make a rune spray. Um, alcohol, water, and constant shaking. I know there's like a fourth ingredient that you put in to like keep it from being whatever, but I just, I'm fine with it just being a scent. And what I'm using is vetiver grass and bergamot bought some scents from Makesy and it's mostly to test them out because I am testing out scents I want to try um, so far it's we shall see it smells pretty good we'll see how long it lasts but all in all at least I know what to do with all these extra scent oils where did you brew that portion in my room just now. How do you brew it? Water, rubbing alcohol, and then in scented oils. Oh. But it's not really memorable. It's just. Yeah, well, when I come to the house room, scent. I smell it. Yeah, but it's not like ooh. No, it's almost in the same. Cleaning vein, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So right now I'm just working on, well I'm working my job um, and I thought I'd do a quick recording. Typically this screen actually has something on it, but for the sake of, you know, copyright, I'm not posting it, but um, I'm in the midst of creating this business that will be slow growing and it's intentional because I want to transition into doing that and I've noticed that there's quite a bit of few things to do but I'm slowly getting the hang of it and my concerns just deals with like in general setting things up like I could I have the fun part which is like developing the products but then I'm thinking about all the other things like I just signed up for a reseller's permit uh, hopefully I get that soon I've what else have I done I have to go get myself a trademark I've done the basics of the website with big cartel and I've taken some mock-up photos I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of more I did some mock-up candles that you have seen on the video but more all in all now is just working on the final artwork for the scarves um, or at least the initial designs that come with the scarves and rough those out um, and then oh, wait I have to I have to set up a flight I got so much stuff to do regardless I think I bought so much like random paper and supplies and samples I definitely have to go check my account later today um, testing things out picking out a color I think life is very tiring I I can see why so many people are wanting mentors only because we spent so much of our time and youth not actually having a guidance and having to constantly watch over everything like for example I went through the issue of trying to update the house and I backed out because I've just heard too many things about not finding the right contractors and the more I, I listen to people on YouTube the more and more this is happening I don't know if it's a Florida thing and then the other thing is I've had quite a bit of number of expenses that came up that again deals with the fact that you just don't like no one is actually looking out for anybody or doing what they need to be doing anymore I it's it, you have to unfortunately 
but yeah then there was um things with with not having good like medical like you just not having good and the funny thing is like i've even hear some people with a lot more a lot 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 more means a lot more means you know what i mean like a lot more means of just a lot more means also having issues themselves when it comes to getting proper customer service and we're all of us is paying so much like and the cost of insurance has gone up and it's not like I did anything or anyone around me that I know that did anything, but just for the sheer amount. And it's just, it really is just becoming more difficult, but it's becoming more difficult with things costing more and the values being taken away. Um, I know that online lately, it's the whole notion of quiet luxury or whatever exploded. But when you really look at it, like, parts of it is simply because of the fact that the so-called flashier name brands has made their items so much cheaper and has cost things so much more and the people who actually produce the stuff aren't actually the ones to make that money so i don't know i've just been kind of like a bit melancholish i've also had some difficult i've just not been in my working out phase i'm just slowly getting back to it and just trying to get used to being consistent and just try to at least get myself due to 10 minutes a day and not slip back into not doing the workout so anyways i'm gonna close out this vlog and get myself back to work So just a um, quick walk through of uh, my garden. This is all a nice put together, kind of patching up the lawn, having my fruit trees. This of course happens all before the major drought. So enjoy the spring um, footage and I pretty much just kept, I pretty much just kept everything for dead during this drought. So this is how it was when it's beautiful. Right now it's overrun by a ton of weeds. But for now you can see me just trying to propagate some new plants. Um, this is early spring. You can hear the beautiful birds chirping in the background. And it's just nice and relaxing. Um, it's really encouraging actually to see this, this footage again. Maybe I'll get myself, you know, working in the yard again but i basically was in preparation mode knowing that it was going to get hot but how hot it was was ridiculous so just planting up some hedges here some bushes and stuff like that and yeah i got a lot of cleaning to do um the difference now is i do have a patch of things uh there and ready the mangoes are starting to grow. This is my neighbor's mangoes. I'm, yeah, I'm envious. I might end up getting them if they fall on the ground on the other side of the fence or whatever. But, uh, but uh, yeah, so instead, actually, I think a, a, a week or two later, my neighbor across the other side of the street, who also has a mango tree, ended up giving, giving us some mangoes. So we had quite a bit of mangoes with uh, yogurt for breakfast and lunch. But yeah, I'm, when I tell you that compared to what it looks like right now, this looked like it was ready and juicy for the nice, beautiful summer. Things were starting to grow. Um, things I had to change out. Everything was happy only to find that, yeah, it's too hot. So the yard looks nothing like it is right now.
I have quite a bit to settle with here so we're going to go ahead and get that cleaned get this trimmed try to revive some dead plants and yeah get that done